A whistleblower coming forward to say he warned the Kia car company about the cause of a car fire, many of them as far back as 2017. He's sitting down for an exclusive interview with I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway, who for the last year has been exposing hundreds of Kias and Hyundais going up in flames. Why are you coming forward now? I'm coming forward because people's lives are at risk. Jason Vaughn worked for Kia's warranty department at their headquarters in Irvine, California. I discovered in the course of performing uh, dealer audits a safety concern um, that I believe is causing the uh, Kia vehicle fires. In 2017, Jason says he found Kia dealers performing engine recalls improperly, leading to dangerous fuel pump leaks. A problem the I team first uncovered in November after speaking with auto experts. It's like hitting the car with a flamethrower. The car just started on fire and there was fire coming from underneath it. Since April, the I team has exposed hundreds of Kia and Hyundai fires. According to the Center for Auto Safety, drivers in 44 states have reported 276 Kia and Hyundai fires, 25 of those in Florida. My car is on fire. Jason said he warned Kia corporate leaders he suspected faulty recall work is causing so many of these vehicles to burst into flames. But he told the I-Team he didn't get the reaction he expected. Who did you notify? I brought it up in a warranty operations meeting and there were six other people plus myself in the room. How did the higher ups react? The warranty operations manager um, was not receptive at all. She didn't think that it was something that we should look at. The U.S. Attorney's Office in New York City is now reportedly looking at the issue with an investigation into whether Kia and Hyundai handled recalls properly. What is your biggest fear? A mother driving her car with her child in a car seat in the back seat and the car catching on fire. It was very fast. Pasco County firefighter Christine McGuire Wolf says she's thankful her two young children were not in the car when her 2012 Sorrento burst into flames. It happened as she drove down State Road 52 in December. But the seat is totally melted. This is that's the booster seat that's for the seven year old. Yeah, that's where uh, the seven year old would have been sitting. Do you that's think so. you could have gotten your kids out of this car? I, honestly, I really don't. If, but you're a trained first responder. It really was fast. Chris said she didn't receive a recall notice from Kia to replace her engine until the night after the fire, meaning botched recall work isn't to blame. And there are other potential causes of these fires. I was completely unaware that there was an issue. Chris showed us this email from Kia confirming they inspected her burned out car. We asked for a copy of that inspection report, but a spokesman told us the company is still reviewing her case. This needs federal attention. Jason left his job at Kia in December. He says he was pushed out for raising his concerns. This is a high pressure fuel pump. And he is now registered as a federal whistleblower with the Securities and Exchange Commission. This is what they actually wrote to us in an email. This is Kia Corporate. We have and are continuing to investigate his claims regarding vehicle fires. What is your response when you hear that? I hope that's the case. There's never been in my 25 years in the industry, has there ever been a situation this dangerous? You know about the problem and you've handed them the keys to a car that could potentially could start on fire and burn to the ground within 10 to 15 seconds, which is which you can't get out of the car that fast. So Jackie, you've been digging into the story for over nine months now, and it's great to see the company finally doing something. But where do we go from here? What happens next? Since we interviewed the whistleblower, Kia and Hyundai have announced they're recalling 150,000 vehicles just over the fuel pump issue. So that's where it's at right now. Right. So is this recall going to fix the problem? Well, it depends on who you ask. Both automakers say that they don't know of any fires that have been started due to this particular issue, but there is a national auto safety watchdog group out there that says more cars are at risk. All right, we know you'll stay on top of it, well. so we'll check back with you. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. Meanwhile, you can see all of Jackie's previous investigations right now. Just head to abcactionnews.com slash car fires. You can also check out the iTeam section on our streaming app for Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV.